Welcome into the Front Yard Fantasy Hour brought to you by FanDuel on this lovely Friday. I am your host today, JL, joined as always by my beautiful and gorgeous and other synonyms to beautiful and gorgeous. Josh. He's talking about me. He's talking, talking about, about Josh. Josh. The sexy, the sexy one. About me. Let's go. That's the second time that's been brought up uh, today. And that's <laughs> an inside is. joke. And uh, I digress. It's now uh, an outside joke. We're also joined by. How's Jay doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll <laughs> We're also joined by fellow front yard fantasy team member, Jay. How you doing today, Jay? Doing good. Uh, wish I was feeling a little better, but I am definitely. I don't. Uh, well, you know, that's that's between you two, but uh, I do, and but I am happy to be here tonight. So Great, I'm glad to hear. We are also joined by special guest, good friend of the show, Jeff Hasley. He's a senior writer of Football Guys, owner of Sports Design Shop, and co-creator of the Carolina Fandom Podcast. Jeff, glad to have you back. How are you doing today, my friend? I am good, guys. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. I, I just want to let you know this is my this is my Jeff Bell Halloween costume right here. Really? Oh, the yeah. Buffalo Bills hoodie? So I, got- I like it. <laughs> Yeah, and I, we kind of have the same little facial uh, hair going on. So. Yeah, just yeah, missing like the Ohio State hat. That's all. Yeah, I just yes. need to put the hat on and yeah, and then throw some shade towards Trevor Lawrence, and you got it. You got the there full, <laughs> the full get down. We love you, Jeff. I hope you're watching. Sean in here saying front yard Jeff fantasy on. for life. Sean Goglin for life. That's right. That's that's got a ring to it. We're gonna get that started. He's Sean, saying happy Sean, Sean, Sean. Friday. I'm sorry. And then Maria in here with what a crew of Jays. Seriously, this is true. We, we have we have fully we've taken over. We're, we've dominated. So that was now. actually my plan. I plan. I actually got Simon sick to get rid of him so it could be all Jays. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. 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 What'd you get him long... sick with? Uh, I can't talk about it. But uh, oh. you know, once it's all said and done, then maybe you know, give me a call after the show. We'll. we'll, we'll but I can't. Publicly, I can't say tuberculosis. That's fair. Yeah. Tuberculosis. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. no. Yeah. Yeah. Sean saying, so one of my roommates is addicted to online slots. So the Borgata Casino comped him two sweet tickets to the Raven Steelers games. Hoping to see TJ Watts set that record in person. That should be. It sounds like game. your roommate uh, has lost a lot of money. It's <laughs> <laughs> like he probably could have afforded more than those right. sweet tickets with uh, how much he's lost in slots. No, that, that's badass, though, Sean. I'll that is very cool. I hope you enjoy that game. Yeah, slots is a thing. It is. It is. Vandal in here saying, "I hope Justin Jefferson is an answer for JLJ, Josh, and Jeff. It better be. It better be the the full J's, the full J effect." And Justin in here, yo, what up? What up, Justin? Good to see you again, my friend. The J's never stop. They don't. They don't. All J's all the time. All J's all the time. And Justin saying, "Josh, why did you put Etn over Mitchell?" Oh, that is, that is such a great question because I noticed that too. No, no, no. When I did my short, I, I that was my toughest decision. I did a short of the top five, my top five rookie running backs from this season: um, Najee Harris, Javante Williams, Travis Etienne, Elijah Mitchell, and Michael Carter. And my toughest decision was I, I and I almost did it: Elijah Mitchell I, over Travis Etienne, but I, I just couldn't quite do it when I when I just. When I break down the situation, it's just like I I truly do believe that Travis Etienne is just going to be a a force, especially in the receiving game next season. I kind of think of him as a Alvin Kamara light almost. Right. So I'm I'm still high on Etienne. And and with James Robinson's injury, uh, Etienne's going to get the workload going. Every time you say Travis Etienne, JL smile gets just just a little 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 bit bigger uh, every time. His eye starts gleaming. uh, He's definitely music to my ears, Josh. But as a Clemson fan, I uh, I'm really excited to see what Etienne can do. But I mean, I'm with you. you. Etienne has zero hundred yard games so far, and uh, you know Mitchell (laughs) has five. (laughs) (laughs) I mean. I get Elijah it. Mitchell's stat line is impressive there. Yeah, it is. It is very impressive. So, so let, let me ask you, Jeff, would you draft in a dynasty startup? Would you draft Elijah Mitchell over Travis Etienne? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I, I, I get the, 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 uh, the heads and tails on that. Um, I that probably would go with, you know what? Because San Francisco is such a fickle machine. It is. I mean, it seems like anyone, you could put anyone in there and they'll do well. It's going back to like the old days of Orlandis Gary with the Broncos. Oh, wow. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. We need a bell for like, ding. (laughs) Um, Anyway, uh, you know, if if Mike Anderson, right? All those guys with Denver who did well. I just, I almost wonder if uh, anyone can do well in that system. So Orlandis Gary. I I kind of sort of lean ETN there as well, Josh. But I mean, if it were... 
another day, another time, another hour. If I didn't have dinner already, I might, <laughs> I might choose Mitchell. So dinner really so. matters that much, huh? You know, it's, it's a factor. It can. it can, yeah. Digestion. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Maria's saying, if you want to sneak in a couple of FYF friends, let us know. You might need to. It's a good reminder oh, today. We Right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sweet, mean, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so today we are playing fantasy football Jeopardy. Josh is going to be hosting. Mm -hmm. Before I pass it off to him, if you are watching this, do me a huge favor. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button. Subscribe to FanDuel on YouTube. Uh, it helps them out a ton. There's tons of content creators that they have putting out content all the time. Basketball, baseball, football, the, the best of those three options, clearly. Golf, doesn't matter. They got it. Uh, if, you're on, if you're on Twitch, hit that follow button. Hit that follow button and then go go check them out. Twitch, or I'm sorry, Twitter, TikTok, they're all over every platform. Go find them. FanDuel everywhere. Josh, are you ready to run through the rules oh, and get I'm us going ready. this game? Oh, I am ready. Um, we're playing like 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 JL said. Let me get it up on the screen here. We are playing football Jeopardy today. Uh, all the the questions today will be football related, right? I'm sure most of you people out there have seen the uh, popular television game show Jeopardy. This is very similar to Jeopardy. Um, however, we will not buzz in to answer questions. I'll play the host today while uh, Jeff, Jay, and JL, they will all be the contestants. They will not buzz in. We will go in an order, which we determine pre-show. Jeff will go first, JL will go second, and Jay will go third. And we have our, our special rule that we play. If the person in front of you gets the question correct, they get to pick your category for your next question, okay? If Yay. they don't get it correct, then you get to pick your category. You get to pick any category or dollar amount that's still remaining on the board. Keep in mind that the questions that have larger prizes, the $500 questions, will be tougher than the $100 questions, okay? If you get Better the question be. correct, you get the amount shown. Uh, we will not be assigning negative points today. Once we get through all the questions on the board, we'll have a final Jeopardy round. We'll talk about that once we get there, but you'll get the wager. Uh your points and then uh that's the one time you can have negative points because it's a wager right whoever accumulates the most money over the course of the game will be our fantasy jeopardy champion today let's go it's me, it's me. hey jeff Got you ready it. to lose i am ready <laughs> to lose yes sir Ooh. i'm talking mad shit because jeff is a trivia whiz and he's about to destroy me so we will see oh, oh we'll man see. oh man that's that's the, the kiss of I death gotta, right there. I'm like I got to I got to talk like my the shit early. kicker who's made 39 straight, and they're like he's <laughs> yeah. made 39 straight. Yeah, yeah there's no way he'll miss this one. <laughs> anyway. All right. So, guys, uh, like I mentioned, we have five different categories for today. Simon actually created two of the categories. The first two here, you pick two. This essentially that there will be four options, maybe their players, maybe their teams. There will be two correct answers out of the four options. You got to uh, choose which two are the correct answers. Panther, I barely know her. These will be all Panthers related questions. You know, Simon, JL, I know you're upset about that. <laughs> What uh, week seven, <laughs> week 17 fantasy points. That's pretty self-explanatory. There's a 2021 player stats mashup. This will not be who has more receiving yards, this guy or this guy. This will be questions more like who has more. Is it this guy's receiving yards or this guy's rushing yards? So we're, we're it's a stat mashup, right? And then we have NFL team stats. These are all NFL team stats from the 2021 fantasy or uh, football season. So make sense, guys? Makes Let's sense. do it. Sounds good. All right, let's get right in there. And like I said, we're starting with Jeff. So, Jeff, the entire board is open for you. Uh, what category would you like and what dollar amount? Oh, uh, let's just kind of start off a little easy here with 100. We'll go with the okay. 2021 player stats mashup. 2021 player stats mashup. Let's get in there, Jeff. Jeff, which one of these is greater? Is it Mark Andrews receiving yards this season or Jonathan Taylor's rushing yards? Oh, man, that's a good question. I think this is Taylor's rushing yards. He's pretty high up there. Uh, so is Andrews, but I'm going to go with Taylor. So you were going to go with Jonathan Taylor's rushing yards being more than Mark Andrews receiving yards. Let's see if that's correct, Jeff. It absolutely is correct. Nice. Jonathan Taylor is killing it in terms of rushing yards. He is way outproducing Mark Andrews in terms of yards. Great job, Jeff. You're going to get $100 onto your score for this round. Yay. Well All done. All right. <laughs> And the best part about getting this is that you get to pick JL's category next. Uh, mm. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go Panthers. I barely, no. Panther, I barely know her. <laughs> yes. Panther, I barely know her. <laughs> oh, what do you want there, JL? Let's go 500 for JL, huh? So JL, I get to JL, pick the number. JL's going to pick the number. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Trying to screw me over, good. Jeff. I see how it is. 
get coming out. Just do it. Violence. Don't be scared. Do this, it. This rule, this rule really gets interesting later in the game when there's <laughs> less like amounts left. So you can really like pin someone in if they need points and there's only a hundred dollar question left in Panther. I barely know her. Then you, you kind of, you could get yeah, that. Right. Category yeah, got it. With it, right? Do it, Jay. Uh, do it. You won't do it. Oh, I have five hundred dollars anyway. The peer pressure. Five hundred dollars. Ah, oh, he's doing it. He's not messing around. We can't steal, yeah. can we? No, we can. no, no. No, there's well, no maybe, stealing. Maybe we need to add that. I know. We'll add it. JL, later. pick the only two teams with fewer total yards than the Carolina Panthers this season. There's the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Detroit Lions, the New York Giants, and the Houston Texans. With fewer... two of these have fewer total yards than the Carolina Panthers this season. Oh, man. Have fun I got to pick one. both? There's two teams, yes, and you have to pick both. <laughs> this category... Try yeah. for two. one first. Try for both. one. <laughs> and if you get that, you can try for a second. If you yeah. don't get it, the question's over anyway, and you don't really get that embarrassed. I think Jeff <laughs> has a really good point here. Um, I think that's the way to start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... For what it's worth, this is a tough question. Let me just yeah. do some deduction the here. The $500 questions typically are. <laughs> the Giants. I feel like the Giants have not done anything offensively. Detroit Lions have had a bad. They've been bad, but. Giants have been like anything moving. in almost 10 years. So, so I'll, I'll go Let's Giants. Go. And then between. I don't, I don't think it's Lions. I think Lions is probably the one that's most. The highest out of these four. Um, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go Texans, I guess. So you're going to go with the Giants and the Texans. Giants and Texans, yeah. I would have right. The, I would have picked the Jaguars. So I'm the seeing Jaguars in the chat. Jaguars had a good run game, though. Decent the chat game, tends so. to agree with Jay here. Um, FYF Maria <laughs> saying Giants and Jaguars. Albert saying Giants and Jaguars. Shoot, I'm saying wrong, Jags and Giants. Hold on, hold on, hold time out. Did you say Jaguars? Jaguars. 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 There we go. Jaguars. Just want to Jaguars. I was probably saying Jaguars. I was probably saying Jaguars. 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 Forget about so, it. So I'm, I'm wrong here, aren't I? It's JL, you went with the Giants and the Texans. I got a yeah. feeling. The correct right. answer is the Giants oh! and the Texans. Look at that. That is the correct answer, guys. Jaguars 4,800. That is brutal that is very close that's some josh math right there simon put together these questions i will say the jaguars have over 150 more yards than the giants so i don't know if that's too josh mathy um no the giants and the panthers are but but yeah, that's right. not really the question is it it's it's really just knowing the difference it's really just that's knowing the that these two teams <laughs> have more right. yards than these two teams right I got it right. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. I was 100% expecting to get that wrong. Well, then you probably shouldn't have given the answer you gave. Yeah. I'll consider it next time for sure. <laughs> All Scott's right. Saying Jaguars. That was, a... <laughs> Jaguars. That was a great job. You got it right when really it didn't seem like anyone had faith in you, JL. No, not even the chat. No one in the chat had faith. Yeah. All right. So, Jay, we're coming to you. What? Uh, no, my category. Oh, you're absolutely right. correct. That's right. How? Okay. What do I want to do here for Jay? Jay would really, really enjoy doing. Um, he would Probably. enjoy doing NFL team stats. NFL team stats. NFL team stats. Let's go with. Let's go right in the middle. Let's go 300. Okay. NFL team stats for 300. All right. Which team has the most total yards this season? The Kansas City Chiefs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or the Green Bay Packers? I am going to go with... It's one of those three. It, it is definitely is one of these three. I'll, I'll give you a hint. This team leads the NFL. It's actually most total <laughs> yards. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like, like, out of all teams. Like. <laughs> all right. I'll go with, in, in honor of the Antonio Brown saga, I will go with the Buccaneers. In honor of the Antonio Brown saga. That's right. Okay. Tribute. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see if you're correct, Jay. Ah, you are absolutely correct. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have the most yards out of all Golf NFL club. teams so far this season. Great job, Jay. Thank you. Let's go. All because of Antonio Brown. Yeah. All you're because welcome. of Antonio Brown. And you know what? I Everyone would like the 500, right. but I'm actually only supposed to get 300, Josh. So, I mean, oh, right, you can right, leave right. it, but I mean. So, so for this first <laughs> round, be before you have you scores might need those here, extra 200. Uh, I can just hit the plus button once you guys do have scores in here. But uh, 
the first time you guys get any kind of points, I have to manually put that in. I don't, I don't know. That's it's interesting. Yeah. Scott, Scott got it correct with Tampa Bay. Maria said Packers. Albert got Buccaneers. And we know Albert's always right. So Albert Craig, is always right. Craig saying, sorry, I am late. Uh, I am here. Yard. Got lost in side yard fantasy. Couldn't find my way to the front yard. It happens all the time. There's guys at side yard that. fantasy. They, they <laughs> suck. Real assholes. You know? Stay yeah. away from backyard fantasy. You how about do the not want to go there? How about the front <laughs> little strip of grass in between the road and the sidewalk? Great fantasy. guys. We love those guys. Love those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's called a st- strip. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had something, Gosh. but Gosh. I mean, I'll, I'll digress. Storm, storm drain fantasy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Moving on. It does look like Albert pulled a little bit of a Scott Fish here. Um, oh. Albert's, Albert's uh, guess in the no, chat was pretty if, late here. If it was know. Scott Fish, maybe, but Albert's usually on the up and up. He's pretty good. Yeah, I, so know, I, I, know, can, I, I give He's a man Albert of integrity. Yeah, he is. Well, guys, after one round, everyone got their questions correct. Unfortunately, Jeff, um, you know, you went for the uh, slightly easier choice there, and uh, That's you, all right. you're, you're going to have the it's list or score right now. This That's is right. anyone's game. I'm rooting against. I'm actively rooting against JLJ. Just what? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say JL. <laughs> That's gonna be really funny. Well, I'm actively mostly you. rooting against JL. If if I could decide the order, it'd be Jeff J JL. So <laughs> That's yeah. fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Scott saying the treasure trail <laughs> fantasy. Ooh, Ooh. I like that. Yeah, I like okay, that. I'm about it. I'm about it. It's whimsical. All right, Jay, you got the last question correct. Do you, well, how about you go ahead and pick Jeff's category? Let's go with you pick two for Jeff. You pick two, just like Panera. You pick All right, two. Let's, let's go with 300. All right, you pick two for 300. Jeff, pick the two players that have over 1,000 receiving yards. Let's see. Well, Cooper Cup is definitely one. Um... And uh, shoot, did Thielen do it? Uh, or Smith? That's a tough one. I don't think Pitts did. I think he's close, but he didn't. He's not there yet. <sighs> wow. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with Thielen. Cup and Thielen. Jeff is going to go with Cup and Thielen. We have some great guesses here in the chat. Scott saying Cup and Pitts. Craig cup saying and Cup and Pitts. That's, 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 is it? Pitts has over 1,000? I think yeah. he just got over 1,000. They were, cup they were and touting pits. it all last week. Yeah. All right. Well, well the chat seems to think it's Cup and Pitts. And that's the correct answer. Pitts has 1,018 receiving yards. While Devontae Thielen is a good guess, though, because the Thielen is tricky. The, the Him being out, I feel like, yeah, is, exactly. messes right. it up. Well, yeah, imagine if Pitts had a couple touchdowns, people would be going absolutely <laughs> nuts, right? Yeah, now. People would would be definitely more higher on him for sure. But yeah, uh, was so it two I, touchdowns in the season? One. I was one thinking touchdown. that Pitts was close, but wasn't there yet. So I was thinking it was one of the other two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I already I automatically uh, discarded him as a possibility. So. That was pretty honest. Give, like, give me the family I, I, I knew, strike. I, yeah. <laughs> um, I, knew, I, knew, I knew Pitts had a thousand receiving, or I figured it out earlier this week, but it surprised me as well, to be completely honest. Yeah. And if you don't like these questions, the one in the first two categories, go play him, Simon. All right. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to play anything. Just wait around. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't get it right. So oh, I don't have to do that. Josh says no, no, no. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm understanding. No, no. Be a great teacher, Josh. <laughs> takes a minute. No, takes no, a minute. No. But you still have the happy voice, you know. It's like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's incorrect, sir. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, <laughs> no, put that down. Put down the glue. All right. All right. Yeah. So it's me, Josh. Right? You want to come watch my yeah. kids for me? You sound like you'd be. Yeah, good. I would. Lo- no. Oh my god, I feel so bad for you. Yeah, actually, no. I think that. Yeah, it's terrifying. I, I almost said something very similar to this, but uh, yeah, Scott, I agree. Thielen throws you off with his forty-five. Touchdowns. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> he does have more fantasy points than his yards uh, really make sense for, right? Almost. <laughs> yeah. Craig no. saying Josh rooting no. against JL. Nothing routing. to do there. Routing. Routing. Again. routing. 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 Yeah, Josh that's like my GPS. Right? He giving yeah, directions. Posh. All right. I get to choose. I'm going to go. Let's go week 17 fantasy points for. For 400. For 400. I knew you were going to do it. I knew it. I knew 400. Yeah, I feel like you you, you like the 400s. The 400s a night. It's not too much. It's not too extreme. Yeah. It's, but it's an up upside. Yeah. It's right where I live. <laughs> yeah. So week 17 fantasy points for 400. 
JL, I want you to put these players in order. And I knew you did not want to see a players in order question, but no, you got it. It's a 400. In, in, order in terms of fantasy points in week 17, it's a four point for passing touchdown league. Joe Burrow, Tua Tungvaloa, Kyler Murray, and Matthew Stafford. And okay. you got to put them in well, order. It's clearly Joe Burrow at the top. You think so? Yes, I think so. I'm pretty like sure he was the number there, one. Um, <laughs> Tua, Kyler, Stafford. I'm going to go Kyler second, and then I'm going to go Stafford, Tua. So you're going to go Burrow, S- Burrow, 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 Stafford, Murray. Tua. Burrow, Burrow. Burrow Stafford, and, Stafo and, and Tua. Tua. Yeah. All right. All right. I like that order. Um, Scott's agreeing with you. That's what I do. Uh, the last so is two is, I'm not sure about. Uh, Tim is I don't think... also agreeing with you. So the chat's Pretty agreeing sure with Tua you. did not have a good game because Waddle did nothing for me against Simon. <clears throat> well, I know Devonta Parker had a ton of targets, but, but it doesn't matter. Didn't... Tua had a horrible game. Yes, You're absolutely okay. correct. JL Burrow with 34, over 34 fantasy points. Kyler Murray, tw- almost 23. Matthew Stafford, 14.2. And Tua with Burrow, 4. Murrow, Sturrow, and Turo. And Turo, yes. <laughs> yes, Turo. So look, now I just have to hit that plus button and it just automatically does it. I don't have to manually Beautiful. do anything. That's Beautiful. really nice. See, 400, it's where I live. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Good job. I, I knew you didn't like seeing that put these in order, but... It was uh, a little I, easier. It was a little I easier. Thought, I thought you could, you know, big gaps. Of for that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Exactly. So, JL, guess what? You get to pick Jay's category. All right, let's send Jay to... Mm, no Fandle one. I love sending Jay to the Fandle. Yeah, no Fandle ball. today. No Fandle. You I think it's the first time I've me there because this is the first time I've ever played it. So Let's like, send uh, let's send Panth- Let's send send him to Panther. I barely know her. I knew that was coming. Panther? <laughs> I barely know her. <laughs> you should get this. You're in the vicinity. Let's go with... Uh, 300 worked out last time. Let's you, go 300 you, again. You live in the Panther uh, category, I right? do not live in a yeah. Panther. Just to throw okay. that out there. Okay. <laughs> Be terrifying. So it's not like an Ace Ventura situation, like with the no, Rhino. Never mind, I digress. <laughs> Did you 300. say 300? 300. 300. It worked right, last perfect. time. Let's see if it works again. All right. According to Fantasy really? Data ADP, <laughs> the Carolina Panthers were drafted inside the top 100 overall players going into the oh, 2021 wow. season. Was it two, <laughs> three, four, or five? I actually said 400. I didn't mean 300. This is, right, sorry. this is intense, Simon. <clears throat> Obviously, CMC and DJ Moore. I just got to. The only other option would be Robbie Anderson if he was in the top 100, but I don't think he would have been in the top 100. Sure, you're not forgetting somebody? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm going to go with two. You can go with two? Well, I see he doesn't say super flex or not. That kind of throws things off, but I'm still, I'm going to go with two. I think we're going to assume not super flex here. Um, you were going with two. Albert saying three. Scott is also saying three. It I looks just like. don't think Robbie Anderson would have been in two. the top 100. Well, the correct answer is, I am sorry, Jay. It's three. Uh, it's three. Robbie oh. Anderson was drafted 75th overall. Coming into the season, he did have some hype, you know? Um, that I, is I would true. Say. C- coming off that last year uh, a little bit. but Such is life. Teddy Bridgewater. It's only, I th- it's only 300. I th- yeah, it's 300. Who needs it? I think yeah. Robbie Anderson had over 1,000 yards last season, if I remember correctly. Yeah, last year Didn't like, did. Yeah. And 95 catches. Yeah. So, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> and then Simon added this in next closest Terrace Marshall at once. Yeah, the so only one I was worried about was Robbie Anderson. I didn't think, but I was wrong. Yeah. All right. Well, we do have a close game. JL does have a pretty solid lead at the moment, though, with 900 points. But Jeff, I'll find a way you, to lose it. Hopefully, you get to pick any category you would like. Oh wow! Part. Let's go with NFL team stats, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's go with let's go with a cool 400. All right, NFL team stats for 400. Let's go, Jeff. Put these teams in order, starting with the team with the most total yards this season. We have the New York Jets, the Houston Texans, and the Carolina Panthers. (laughs) Two of these you've already gotten. Well, let's see. Total yards. Uh, The Jets don't have a lot of yards. I would probably put... 
Hmm. It's either the Texans or the Panthers first, and then the Jets. Um, hmm. Let's go Texans, Panthers, and then Jets. So, uh, so you're starting with the team with the most total yards this season, correct? Yeah. Right. Okay. So what was the order? Houston, Carolina, and the Jets. Okay, Houston, Carolina, and the Jets. I'm That's sorry, right. Jeff. It is Carolina. Oh, wow. New York and Houston. Yes. What? Oh, I mean, no, no, sorry, I mean New, York, New York, Jets, Panthers. You're not. You're, yeah, Jets, Panthers, Jets, Texans. Panthers, Texans. Okay. Well, shoot. Yeah. Oh, sorry, well. It's Panthers, Texans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a little bit of a crossover from a previous question there. Um, yeah, the Panthers and the t- Texans. I guess that's what happens when two people create categories, huh? That's uh, all right. Someone, all right. Happen. Happen. We, we'll play but on. It's, it's all good. It's all good. The board it's is good. big. Give it all you got. <laughs> Give it all you got. Give it all you got. one with New York Jets, Houston, Carolina. Tim's going with Jets, Panthers, Texans. Tim would have gotten a correct. What was the answer Let's again? Let's go, Tim. It was, it was Jets, 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 Panthers, Texans. Jets, yeah, Panthers, Jets, Panthers Texans, Texans. And I had Texans, Panthers, Jets. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good stuff. Oh, that's why you asked again, Josh. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I was just making sure. I was, I wasn't trying to be too uh, <laughs> obvious. Give it with away. It. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So JL, we are coming to you, and you get to pick. You have, your, you have the whole board oh, open to you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, let's go with uh, you. Pick two for four hundred. You pick two. You pick two you pick for four hundred. I know he likes his four hundreds. JL, name the two teams that have fewer than five thousand total yards this season. I'm glad. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So. Five thousand total yards. Uh, Bears and <laughs> Bears and Jets. Oh God, it could be bears Browns. Yeah, I'll go Bears and Jets. Gonna go with Bears. No, wait, and no, no, Jets. no, 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 no. Up no, uh, the tip. <laughs> you just told <laughs> me the Jets number. I, I, I got the coach said timeout before the snap. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. I'll take my. No, I'll take my. Josh's my call. Lumps. Josh's call. <laughs> I'll take my lumps. <laughs> You're gonna go with Bears and Jets. I just do it. Just do it. I'm, All I'm right, he's going with wrong. Bears and Jets. He's going with Bears and he Jets. Told and he's me wrong. The Jets had more. Oh, New yeah. Orleans Saints just send the Jets at 5100. You yes, know what? I would have gotten it wrong either way because I would have went Brown. Again, some crossover there a little bit. I know, but Tim hey, said, you, you, Jay, you just saw the Jets. <laughs> you did. And it, clicked, <laughs> it clicked in my mind as soon as I started thinking. I was like, wait a minute. Jets was the only one over 5,000 in that question. <laughs> Damn it. I just saw it. I'm an idiot. Oh, no one said there'd be. There'd have to do homework in this. I know. This no one said I had to remember. I was told there would be no math. That's right. It, it no would have helped. It would have <laughs> helped. <laughs> no math. All right. Said, so you pick two. Root it, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this guy's saying no. Woo, 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 JL. <laughs> oh, woo, woo, woo. Throw back to Josh's that. woo, woo, woo. Yeah, that was good times. <laughs> that was good times. Let's go with week 17 fantasy points for 300. Coward. Jay is going to go with week 17 fantasy points for 300. Let's get right in there. Jay, who scored more PPR fantasy points in week 17? Was it Joe Mixon, Daria Gumbawale, or Elijah Mitchell? It's actually tougher than I anticipated because Dari had a decent game. I do not remember what Elijah Mitchell did because at mm-hmm. that point in time, mm-hmm. I had my championship wrapped up, so I stopped watching football. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this uh, is why we never stop watching. I know. Well, that's why I got that belt right there. So just had to throw that out It's there. one of those three. It Oh, it absolutely is. <laughs> one of these three guys scored more fantasy points than the other two. Yeah, that's for sure. No ties here. Go Elijah Mitchell. You ain't go with Elijah Mitchell? Yeah, I'm going Elijah Mitchell. All right. Well, Scott thinks it's Mixon. Albert thinks it's Mitchell. The well, correct I feel answer. better if it's I actually Albert. like your answer. Yeah. I, it could be Mixon. I don't, it's not Dare. I don't, I just don't think it's I think him. it's Mitchell. I think it Sounds is Mitchell. Right. He scored, I think he, he got, he got like 100 yards points. and he got a touchdown, didn't he? Yeah. Shoot. He had like 20 points or something. I like it, Jay. Elijah Mitchell's the correct answer. Here Let's go. 20, boo, 21 boo, boo. pants points. Joe Mixon has 21 points. pants. He had 21 Elijah pants. Mitchell had 21 pants. That, well, so 11 and a half pairs of pants. Oh. So oh, is, I, I was going to say, is that half. was that 21 leg holes or 42 leg holes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, t- 21 leg holes. <laughs> 21 leg holes. 
21 bands. Good job on that one, Jay. Uh, you will bring it. your total up to 600, and you I'll get to it. pick Jeff's category Albert. going into the next round. Albert's Albert Savage. Stuff. He is. We got to get Albert on. Play Albert's like, stop talking about me, please. We're going to go. So <laughs> We're going to give Jeff the Panthers question. The Panther, I barely know. Oh, goodness. Know. Is this Panthers or Pants? Pant- Pants, Panther. I barely know her. Uh, geez. Well, I'm going to have to go with 400. I got to catch up to you, you fine fellows. So all let's right. go with, let's go with the 400 and, and uh, yeah. Hey, all it's right. all right. Even the Bills hey, lose to the Jaguars, right? I, exactly. I've got to mention it. Simon Not went to... through almost the entire <laughs> Jeopardy game without getting any points. And then oh, he got no. a couple points at the end. And then in final Jeopardy, the other two contestants lost all their money and Simon got it correct. And he ended up winning the game. It's not so even a anything could happen. <laughs> I thought it was actually a badass win. I thought it was impressive. That was. That um, was awesome. It's a clown win. Scott <laughs> saying Mitchell Pants, 21, AB shirt, zero. Speaking of which, did you see what AB said today on his podcast yes. interview? That no, he, uh, I saw he, he said something, but I don't know what he said. Yeah, he was. He, he said, said he was something. very close to mooning the crowd on his oh. way out. So. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, I did not see that. That's yeah, pretty funny. That, that would have changed need, some things, honestly. We need joke. <laughs> that, would, that would probably be worse than uh, what Randy Moss did. Yeah. The fake I, moon. I've never understood why people got upset with the fake no, moon. No, well, like, it was Joe Buck. He's like, that was absolutely disgusting. You know, exactly. Air, well, it's Joe like, Buck. So. Oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> Bygones. So Panthers. Panthers, I barely know Panther. I barely know her for 400, right, Jeff? Yes. All right. Which running back holds the franchise record for rushing yards in a single season? Stefan Davis, Stephen Davis, Stefan. I don't know why I said that. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, Jonathan Stewart, <laughs> D'Angelo Williams. Is that so Stephon I actually know the from... answer to this question. Nah. Okay. Actually, I, I I just wanted to say that. Uh, okay, <laughs> I was about to say you, you could you could say it. I think <laughs> it's D'Angelo Williams, but Stephen Davis back in two thousand and three is really kind of jarring my memory for whatever I was reason. Seven. Huh? I was seven. Oh wow. Oh. Uh, uh, it could be Davis, Desert, but babies. the the year Williams no, had a, a, a huge year nine. with like eighteen touchdowns. Um. Mm. Damn it, man. It could be Davis. It could be Davis. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Stephen Davis back in 2003. I think that's, that's, uh, that's my pick. You're going to go with Stephen Davis. Yeah. We have a, we have a couple answers in the chat. No one. Uh, uh, well, I was uh, thinking Williams, Williams at first, the one year I, where he had like 18, 19 were... touchdowns. It's not McCaffrey. He's not the rushing guy, right? He's the everything yeah. guy. But Scott's uh, saying maybe Stephen Davis. Uh, the first was Davis is one I thought. Stewart. And Scott he had saying like fourteen hundred yards or something. School. What was what was the name of the guy that he That's had? The, cool that was the committee with him when he went to Super Bowl. Davis and who? The guy from Memphis, right? Another guy from Memphis, right? What was? It? Uh, I Wait, can't think of his name. I got to look it up. Well, on the when, Panthers in two thousand three, yeah. it was Davis and uh, it was Brad Hoover, the fullback. Was, uh, there was a young guy too. I can't think of his name. I'm gonna have to look it up. It's jo- uh, I'm, I don't jo- know. Joy Bell. <laughs> Drake no. Bell. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I forget. All right. As well, Jim. So we're gonna go with Stephen Davis here, Jeff. Yeah. Well, oddly, I think that answer. might be right. Is D'Angelo Williams? Oh, Stephen Davis was, was number two. <laughs> Stephen Davis was number two here. You, oh, I mean, man. It was a good breakdown. You were very much between D'Angelo Williams and Stephen Davis, and those were the two correct guys. I would have went. I would have went Davis. D'Angelo Williams, the top one. And I'm sorry, the guy Jeff. I was trying to think of Jeff was Deshaun Foster. The guy. Oh yeah, that's right. UCLA. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Deshaun yeah. Foster. Yeah. Uh well, shoot, guys. I'm glad I got one right, huh? Um, <laughs> no, but, it'll come but back. The, it'll come back when it I, comes down to it. I, like I, I said, not, I do not get to pick for. Uh, no, no, you don't. I'm for sorry. I'm, in, I'm so, enjoying this so that's far. That's why he's Jeff. winning. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. Uh, <laughs> let's go with uh, week 17 fantasy points for 500. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa! What happened whoa. to your 400? Oh, I live in 400. Well, they're basically out, so I don't want to uh, do what? mashups. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's some game theory right there, guys. Keep that in mind. If you know what I'm saying. Or maybe I do want to do mashups. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, All, All right, right Josh, lay it on me. 500. Put these players in order in terms of PPR fantasy points of Week 17. We have David Montgomery, Odell mm-hmm. Beckham, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Kyle Pitts. He's throwing the running back in there for a little bit of an <laughs> And then the tight end at the end for a little bit more of a <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's like a, a really bad Peter Griffin impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, had, anyway. I had a drink in my mouth while I was doing it too. Somewhere there's some by <laughs> some person laughing in our in our chat. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, so, that's, hopefully. The, that's the goal. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> All right, I'll go with um, let's go with Amon Ross St. Brown as number one. Then I'm gonna go David Montgomery, and then wrong. I have Odell no idea. Beckham. Did Odell Beckham? He got a touchdown, didn't he? <laughs> Did he? Uh, didn't he? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, and then I'll do Odell Beckham, then I'll do Kyle Pitts. So you were going to go Amon Rice St. Brown, David Montgomery, Odo Beckham, Kyle Pitts? Yeah. All right. So Scott is going a little bit of a different order. He's switching around OBJ and Pitts. Albert agrees with you, however, saying oh, St. Okay. Brown, Montgomery. All right. Beckham All right. Feel, feeling good. Feeling good then. Yes. Well, let's see what the correct answer is here. Amon Rice St. Brown, David Montgomery, oh, Odo Beckham, Kyle Pitts. Let's go, JL. Let's I go, did JL. It. Let's say you That's did it. Talent right Pitts, there. I thought Pitts had over 100 yards on week 17, but I guess maybe not. he didn't 106 score. 106, maybe, but I don't think he scored. Maybe he had it in one catch. Uh, just half PPR, then point PPR. I mean, <laughs> uh, well, had a fumble let, or something. Let, 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 let me let me uh, tell you right now. Uh, Kyle, I do Pitts know that he's over a thousand yards now. A, so a... <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, where, where, where the heck is Kyle? We, see, the here? week seven, whenever we do like the weekly fantasy points section, I Kyle always Pitts like that one. Had two catches of the FanDuel recaps. for 69 yards. Two catches for 69. Nice. Oh, it nice. must have been uh, last week that he had over 100 then. Yeah. I think he had 106 yeah. a week before or something. Something yeah, like that. That's mm-hmm. what I was thinking of. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Jay, maybe we'll, if we could like pool together our points, we have a chance. I like it. I like, <laughs> I like that idea. Let's do it. Well, JL, we, you we get to pick the up. category for Jay. All right, let's send Jay to um, hell. Send Jay to (laughs) (laughs) hell. Go to hell, hell. Jay. All right, I'm out. See you. All right, see ya. I'm going to give you a a shot here, Jay. Let's say you pick two. Uh, Pick two? You pick two, baby. Let's go 500. Let's go for it. You pick two for 500. Let's go, Jay. Going big. You got to pick the two correct answers here. Pick the top, the two top twenty-four PPR running backs through week seventeen. Oh my god! Some of the- Daryl Williams. Daryl Williams is spelled wrong. I should get something for that because it's only one L. But leave me out of this. I said, take your complaints to Simon for the first two categories. Simon and Panera. You got and this, Panera. Jay. You can do it. I got faith, even though you're in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a no second. Faith for you. <laughs> Don't think it's Devonta Smith, even though he was consistent. He never really had. It's definitely not team. Devonta Smith. Yeah, Devonta Definite, Smith. I would not. Or, not or, or Devonta Freeman. <laughs> Either one of those two. <laughs> Go ahead, pick Devonta Smith. I think it's right. All three of those guys, Dylan, Paul, and Williams, had some big games. Dylan didn't start doing much till the end of the season. Hmm. Pollard missed some games. I'm gonna go with Dylan. who's the top one. Do you know that? Uh, if I had to guess, I would say Dylan. I'm gonna guess Dylan and Williams. I probably blew it, not missing out with, with Pollard, but AJ Dylan and Darrell Williams. Uh, I'm pretty locked in on Dylan. I can't decide between Pollard and Williams. Decide, you know what. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to go Dylan and Pollard. So you're going to go with AJ Dylan and Tony Pollard. I am. That's my final All answer. All right. We're locking that in. Are you a pirate? Arr. Arr. <laughs> you're correct. Just kidding. You're oh, wrong. I blew it. <laughs> and you had it right, too. Uh, Craig in the chat got it correct, and Scott also got it correct. There's only one L That's in Daryl right. Williams. We 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 know Scott. We know. So I should uh, get like what... half the points for getting the the name right. I am sorry, Jay. You had it. You had it. I you know. said it. I you said I it. But you overthought yourself. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this is still anyone's game, though. This is absolutely still anyone's game. Oops. Daryl Williams in the top 24 is. That's impressive. I just didn't think he had. I know he had some big games, but I didn't think he had enough, you know, because he didn't start playing until CEH went down. So he was playing. I will say he wasn't getting significant work right, whatsoever. Right. Uh, right. It was nowhere near a top twenty-four running back right. until. That's CEH why got I hurt. thought Pollard, once CEH you know, got hurt. 
Daryl Williams was killing it while CH was hurt. He, he was he was awesome. Um, I, I remember I did a short about it um, when CH was coming or no wait about a lot of catches and PPR yes, definitely yes, helps. Yes, yes. Yes, he had a lot of does. catches. Yes, it does. So I'm sorry, Jay, you did not get that correct. But Jeff, sorry. you get to pick your category and dollar value. Well, I'm gonna have to get something going on here. Let's so let's go in NFL team stats for 500. I gotta he, I gotta get. He's going, going for it. He's going <laughs> for it. Might as well. Wait. Wait, before we get yeah, we get it, Scott says, quick going, question, over or under 5,000 total yards? I'm pretty confident on the under here, guys. I'm going to take, take the under as well. Yeah, yeah. under. Actually, under. I think they have exactly 5,000 yards. Oh, okay, you're taking the even. I don't know. Even. Go with the Queen B rule. Does anyone this remember? Is gonna be, exactly this is going to be tough. I'm just hoping that I can. 51 something, I don't remember. I know. 51, 51 33. Something. Was it? 51 84. I don't know. I'm remember, just guessing. Yeah. I gotta study my total yards uh, next yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. I, I was gonna. Fucking ears. I like that one. Fifty-one, fifty-five. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, close. All right. So I was close. There... I had the double, double last digit. Yes. Is there a yeah? Is there a daily double in here? There is no daily double. Um, there is something I've considered doing though. I, I think maybe something we're gonna do uh, in the. All right. Let's let's get this over with. Let's, let's rip <laughs> the bandaid off. That's for five hundred. Yes. Jeff, put these teams in order, starting with the team with the best turnover differential. Differential. Green Bay Packers. Oh, Jeff's, oh, Jeff's the face Miami says Dolphins, it all. <laughs> the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, the Jaguars and Vikings got to be, like, fairly low down here, so right? So, just real fast. So, everyone knows turnover differential. It's you, you take the amount of turnovers you've given away and the amount of turnovers you've gotten, and you subtract them. And, uh, you know, you have a plus yeah. or minus. Yeah, a hokey pokey, and you turn yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. around. Yeah, I, the, you know, the, this is, this is kind of like the Dolphins type of category, though. I, I want to say Green Bay, but I, <laughs> part of me is thinking Miami is like somewhere in the midst of, of being, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking, but I mean, that's what the Dolphins have done so far this year. They've done a lot in, on defense. Uh, I think Jacksonville is last. I, I want to put them there. Minnesota being third. My question is Green Bay or Miami, and I don't think this would be a 500 point question if it was Green Bay, Miami, Jackson, or uh, Minnesota, then Jacksonville. So I think the, I think the, the fly in the ointment here is the Dolphins. So I'm gonna go with. Mm, ah. All right. <laughs> Just like I did with Stephen Davis. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut here. Miami, Green Bay. Minnesota and then Jacksonville. That's exactly how we're like Miami, Green Bay, Minnesota, and Jacksonville. Oh, well, guess what? Scott Scott's agreeing with you. Scott's agreeing with you here in the chat. All right. So you got you got that going for you. Well, we're asking you to put these teams in go in order in terms of turnover differential. And I'm sorry, Jeff. It might be oh, more or less no. what you expected coming in. While oh. Miami's gotten a lot of turnovers, they've also what? given the ball away quite a bit. Oh my god! I didn't know Green Bay was so high, that high. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. All so right. Green Bay is number I'm one. I'm surprised Minnesota is positive. I'm going to go sit on the loser's couch on that. Who was it that? that uh... I would guess the exact same thing as you, Jeff. That that's exactly what. I is that right? Think. Well, remember we are on the same team. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we're, so... we're only down by half to do. Yeah, by, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll make it up. You guys got this. You guys got this. I I, hey, I got a hundred points. So I got fifteen minutes. I got to stall. <laughs> right. Four corners. So 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 I don't Green care Bay. if it's not a good show. I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> the Ding Packers dong. and the Colts both are plus 16. The Jaguars are by far uh, the lowest with oh, minus 22. Wow, uh, wow. The New York Jets are minus 13. They're the second lowest. Ouch, man. I <laughs> thought Jets. Miami was better than negative three. Wow, that's surprising for me there. But. Yeah, so Miami. Let's see. They they have they have a lot of stop stalling. Let's go, everything. Josh. Let's uh, go. They just again they have a ton of giveaways. I right, paid. We're gonna get we're gonna, we're gonna get through these. This is easy. This uh, is easy. This is easy. This is easy. Yeah, yeah. We're, which we're category at the point of the show where I just need to go with the opposite of what I'm thinking. So <laughs> now <laughs> I just have to think correctly or incorrectly. Well, I, I, I like the game the theory you had, Jeff. Is like you were like, this has to be a five hundred dollars question, so it's probably tougher. Yeah. But also, it's put it in. It was. Order. It was put yeah, in no, order. I, so just yeah, that yeah. fact, I think, makes it tougher, right? Sorry. Yeah. 
It's okay. J- uh, JL category question. Let's get. All right, let's do week seventeen fantasy points for two hundred. I'm gonna wow. start pushing you guys through this a little bit. Who scored more PPR fantasy points in week seventeen? Noah Fan or Hunter Henry? Um, Noah Fan. Noah Fan. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's absolutely the correct answer. It's not we even. You knew that from Fantasy Fortune. Yeah, I was gonna say that came up in Fantasy yeah, Fortune. Exactly. <laughs> All right, JL, and what category Jay, will Jay be doing? Jay would love to do um he would love to do NFL team stats. <laughs> All right, NFL team stats. Really boxing them in there. Jay, which 200. one? Which team has the most total points scored this season? The Tennessee Titans or the Dallas Cowboys? Let's go with the Cowboys. You're gonna go with the Cowboys? That's what I would have done. I think it's Tennessee. He's right. It's 479. Oh, see, it. If it's, it's whatever I think, and it's go the opposite. <laughs> I'm a solid maneuver. Uh, I, 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 yeah. Losing is contagious. <laughs> but today, today. You're, you're today. catching it from Jay. I think. <laughs> Jay, what category are you giving Jeff? Uh, I'm going to go back to the Panthers. I barely know her. <laughs> oh, great. Now, if I miss this, I'll, I'll feel oh, really dude. bad. Keep in mind, Which guys, one, I already Jeff? did have dinner, so that's a fact. Yeah, that is a totally I have fact. No, oh, absolutely. I'm starving. Mm-hmm. I, I, I ate a jail. Let's macros. go with 200. Like I have to go with 200. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't yeah. wimp out and go with 100. Let's go 200. See what I can do here. Jeff, which is higher, Cam Newton's rushing TDs or Sam Darnold's passing TDs? Are we talking this year? This season. Oh. Uh, Darnold ha- it's got to be Darnold's passing touchdowns. You go with Darnold? Yeah. All right. It is Darnold. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I think Darnold. I would have That's actually Cam closer than, than, than I thought it would be. Yeah, I, th- I, I thought know, that Darnold right? had like eight or nine, and then Cam. I didn't whatever. expect Cam to have five. I don't, you know, We're at a time uh, crunch, so let's move on. <laughs> yeah, you get to pick JL's category. Who am I up? JL? JL, oh. we're going to go with you pick it, man. How about you pick two? Oh, okay. I, like that. I was hoping you'd pick that one, Jeff. Let's go 200. Is that Tony? Uh, little Tony pick, slipping out yeah, there? It's 200. Come on. Let's get out of here. Pick the two rookies in the top 10 at their position, PPR. Javante Williams, Jamar Chase, Najee Harris, Mac Jones. Oh, I think this is a trick. Oh, I think you're trying to get me with a little trick here, Josh. Or is it? This is one of Simon's, so. I'm going to go Simon's with... The, the, yep. Or I'm was it go, Josh? Or was it Josh? I don't... Hmm. I'm going to go with Najee Harris. He's for sure in there. And then I don't think – I'm going to Najee Harris and J- Jamar Chase. It's got to be Jamar Chase. It's got to be Jamar Chase. Yeah. I think that's right. I was just wondering like if going with a trick, trick with Mac Jones. I know. I, I, was, I don't know. I don't think he's in – he can't be in the top ten. That's All right. You go Najee Harris and Jamar yeah, Chase? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. got to be. That yeah. is it's absolutely a, correct. Right. That's yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. It's like a free throw, right? I mean, That was. I struggled way too hard with that free throw. layup. JL, pick Jay's category. Jay would love to do Panther at barely an hour. All right, Jay. Here we go. 500. Who leads the Panthers in targets? Robbie Anderson, Christian McCaffrey, or DJ Moore? DJ Moore. Come on. DJ Moore? Come it on. is absolutely oh, DJ Moore. What the yes. heck, Simon? Yes. It's not a free yes. space. <laughs> <laughs> free space. Well, the Jay, other one, remember, was the uh, Jonathan Taylor versus... Uh, yeah, that one's pretty easy, too. That's pretty easy, right? All right. Jay, uh, where am Jay. I going, Jay? Um, to my nobody wants kids. to do the mashups. <laughs> Go ahead, give it to me. Um, give me anything. I don't care. Really, it's just playing. I'm. Let, I have you know I'm going to give. I'm going to give Jeff a shot. We'll go with 2021 20, player stat matchups. All right, he's got the shot, so he's going to go big. You're let's going go big. With, let's go 500. Yes. Oh, let's let's go it. big. Here we go. Jeff, put these in order, <laughs> starting with the largest: Justin Fields' passing touchdowns, Ezekiel Elliott's rushing touchdowns, Jamar Chase's <laughs> receiving touchdowns, and Zach Ertz's receiving touchdowns. <laughs> I want you to start with the largest one. Go ahead and good luck. <laughs> okay, so let's go with Chase's touchdowns, Ertz touchdowns. <sighs> wow. Um, Elliot's. No, wait. Elliot might be higher. Higher than Ertz. All right, let's go. Chase, Elliot, Zach Ertz, and then Fields. That's what I would have done. Chase. So you're good. Chase Elliott Ertz Fields. You're For the win. Chase Elliott. That's exactly Ertz what I would have done, Jeff. Fields. Let's see. 
got I'm it. I'm sorry. You got to switch oh. Justin Fields and Zach Ertz. Justin Fields has seven passing <sighs> touchdowns. I Jeff's am like, sorry, I'm out. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff I would have went with you too. I didn't hey, think Fields had sorry. Many touchdowns. I tried, people. I tried. <laughs> and then Scott, I completely agreed with you. Like that, that seemed like it. But you know, seven passing touchdowns for Justin Fields. JL. That's, it's a tough one. That's why it's 500. That is why it's 500. Let's do, uh, <laughs> let's do mashups for 300. Mashups for 300. Which is greater? Antonio Gibson's rushing yards, DJ Moore's receiving yards, or Mike Gesicki's receiving yards? Gibson's rushing yards. You're going to go with Gibson's rushing yards, and you would be incorrect. Oh, I'm but sorry. Incorrect. It's actually, DJ Moore's receiving yards. DJ Moore's I receiving yards. DJ Moore's receiving yards. Scott in the chat getting own. it correct. Great job. Jay, you do get to pick your own. And go uh, mash. after this, yep, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just say mash up. No, no, no. All right, no. perfect. Oh, yeah. Put these in order, starting with the largest Derek Carr's passing touchdowns, Damian Harris's receptions. Debo Samuel's rushing attempts. Oh gosh, I regret this decision. <laughs> All right, it may not be as hard as you think. You got this. Car started off super hot, but he really fell off. Of course, I don't know if I'm right. Probably. I know. I, know. I am gonna go. Carr, Debo, and Harris. You're going to go with Carr's passing touchdowns, Debo's rushing attempts, then Harris's receptions. That's tough. Sure about that, Jay? You get one switch. Yes, I'm going with it. Carr, Debo, Harris. Carr, Debo, Harris? I am sorry, Jay. Debo Samuel say, there's at 51. No way. Rushing there's no attempts. Way. Yeah, he's got, a lot, he's got a lot of carries, man. Yeah, I knew yeah. that was high. Yeah. That'd be a lot uh, of touchdowns. I wish I had that question. I didn't so one more, one more round, not many more point values left. I want to get into final Jeopardy, so let's speed through this round. Jeff, you're, the board's open to you. What, let's you go like 200. To All Make right. It happen. Which is greater, Aaron Rodgers' interceptions or Cooper Cup's receiving touchdowns? Cooper Cup's receiving touchdowns is greater. You are going to yeah. say Cooper Cup's receiving touchdowns? That's absolutely correct. 15 to 4. Wow, wow. that should have been 1 to 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? 200 points. <laughs> Hey, do you, don't complain. You, you'll take the 200, right? <laughs> <laughs> you'll take the 200. You'll right, take and, uh, what I give you. <laughs> I'm going I'm to give JL the Panther question. No. Yes. Oh, no, I'm, left. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, oh. I, let's go with <laughs> the team God. stats. Team stats for JL. Yeah. That's fine. Team but. stats for 100, JL. All right. Which team has more rushing yards this season? The Indianapolis Colts or the Buffalo Bills? Colts. Oh, jeez. You're going to go with the oh, Colts? Goodness. That's absolutely correct, JL. Wow, the uh, Bills are actually uh, higher than I thought. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like it was it's they're all, like 10th all, in the NFL. It's all Josh Allen. Do- yeah. He doesn't have a ton though. Like he has a good amount. Don't get me wrong. It's just not like setting the world right. on fire. Um and JL, like which is Jay's last Ravens. category. Yeah. Jay, yeah, yeah. Jay is going to go with or 19. You picked two. 19. I was yeah. 19. Yeah, 19. 19. Jail was seven. You picked two? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 17. Who has more than 13 rushing touchdowns out of these four players. Jonathan Taylor, Cordell Patterson, Antonio Gibson, and James Conner. Taylor and Connor. And go with Taylor and Connor. Yeah, that I is like absolutely that. the correct answer. Cordell Patterson was six. Antonio Gibson was six. Jonathan Taylor with 18 and James Conner with 14. Good job, Jay. All right. We're done with our normal Jeopardy here. And we are going to get into final Jeopardy. Jeff, Jay, JL. Do you guys have a piece of paper and a pen, or maybe just your phone? Something to write on. I got my something phone. to you. I've got a phone. First, right now, you're gonna have to put down the wager. We're gonna show all the wagers before I ask the question. I will tell you that the category is just player stats. Player I thought stats. it was the opposite. I thought you asked the question and then the wager. Nope. You wager first. You wager first before you know what the question is. You wager first. So what do we have to show you the uh, the number or something? You're going to show me how much you would like to wager, uh, but you're all going to show it at the same time um, once everyone's got their wager written down. All right. Everyone got their wager? Yep. All right. Um, Jay with 1,900. Jay wait with... Wait a minute. 1,000. 
Thank you. Go big or go home, good. gentlemen. All right, guys. What would you like? Let's, uh, you guys ready? Yep. Sure. All right. Show me those wagers all at the same time. Show them. So, Jay. Uh, well, 9 dollars for Jay. Was that 101 for JL? Yeah. Small w- small wager. He's and waiting. then Jeff, Jeff, what did you four ninety nine? All right, I'm gonna change that to five hundred. All right, I'll allow it. <laughs> you're, not, you're really no. I, I gotta leave it at four ninety nine. The whole point of showing the wagers all at the same time is is for this, um, so I can't allow it. Uh, guys, here is your final Jeopardy question. I'll give you about a minute to you know write down your answer. Um, the last lonely question on the yeah. board. Is <laughs> all right, I'll show it. I'll show it real fast. Here we go. Who scored more PPR fantasy points in week 17, oh. Jamar Chase or DK Metcalf? Jamar Metcalf Chase. was chasing Chase. He was definitely chasing was, Chase. Yeah. Jamar Chase. Easy. But DK Metcalf had a fantastic game himself. Three <laughs> touchdowns. Decent. All right. All right, what's our so, question, Josh? Uh-oh. The season? Oh, no. <laughs> Who has more receiving yards this season? Amon Ross St. Brown, Brandon Ayuk, Devonta Smith. Tell me the person that has the most receiving yards out of these three players. I'll give you about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, and I will sing you a lo- lovely tune while, while you A lovely while tune? Wait. A lovely jig? Smith? Do, 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 no, I don't like that. That's not lovely at all. Do, do, it's beautiful, Josh. Okay. <laughs> right, that's not lovely. I'm gonna hear that in my nightmares. Hey, finish writing your question, and you don't have to listen to it anymore. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm done. Can you stop? <laughs> All right, guys. The question was: Who has more receiving yards this season? I'm on Ross St. Brown, Brandon Ayuk, or Devonta Smith? I want to see those answers. So, are you guys all ready? Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. Oh, show wait, me what you got. Do I have to write it down? Yes, you have to write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Hold on. Right. Hold on. 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 Ready? Tim, yes. I'm yes. Ready. All right. Go ahead and show it, guys. Uh, I gotta get a name. Got this. I, I got yeah. Smith. Where, where we go? There was like my camera. Yeah. You got, oh, Tom and got Smith. I, went, I went with the sun. Oh, you're just looking up on Google. All right. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I love that strategy. I just, I just used the the search function to put in the name. That's all. I, I, I honestly, that. I, I, no, I, I believe. Right. I, I, I like prefer that over I like notes. Yeah, Wait. So that. everyone. That's how I did my number too. No, I went with Amon Ra. Is it oh, you went with Amon Ra. Perfect. Perfect. Well, oh, take shoot. A, give it a second. Give it right. a <laughs> give Probably it not, since that's what I guessed. Give it what you got. Oh, I'm All right. You, Jeff, so, so both if we're going down. Jeff we're going down and together. JL are going with Devonta Smith. Jay went with Amon Ra St. Brown. Well, the correct answer is Devonta Smith. Hey. 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 JL is going to be the winner, but Ooh. Jeff did take second place in Final Jeopardy. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. You took him down. That's all right. Hey, I was going for the win, so that's fine. Yeah, you had uh, for the you win. swung and you missed. Jay. Combined, Jay, yeah. we didn't win. No, no, you did not. No, no you did no, not. We lost. JL dominated this game, actually. JL, Ooh. congratulations on Thank a you. big Thank win you. today, like a Thank huge you. win. Big, um, huge. Maybe or what? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a dominating performance. I, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm impressed, JL. Great job. Thank you. Great job. Thank you, Jeff. Great job coming in second. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Last. Let's go. Well done. Well Last. done. You got and up Jay, to 999 uh, points. <laughs> I was here. I love that. And Jay, you had one point you, you ended up with. I didn't want up at zero. So. <laughs> but again, you had to go big or go home in order yes, to win. I respect so I, that. I, I respect the I hell out it. of that, Jay. Exactly, Thank you. I appreciate exactly. that. Bird up. <laughs> yeah. Tim, Tim is dragging me for not going for the max dub. Not going full balls to the wall. All yeah, of my you should have. That was a coward move, man. to be honest with you. But, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That was pretty cowardly of me. But, you know, I'll take that cowardly money to the bank. Remember, he wanted All to right. stall for the win. I wanted to stall. I have no integrity. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Who cares Those about are... advertising? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're getting sued by freaking Jeopardy anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs>
try us. Uh, yeah. We, we, <laughs> we got, got nothing to lose. Just, yeah. Just reckless. <laughs> Oh All man, right. Jeff, thank fun. you so much for joining us today. That was a absolute blast. I uh, appreciate it. If you're not following Jeff already, make sure you go follow Jeff at Jeff Hasley right there, right under his beautiful face. He's a senior writer at footballguys.com, owner of Sports Design <laughs> Shop, and co-creator of Carolina Fandom Podcast. Excellent follow on Twitter. And just a good guy. And just a good guy. Just Very a good, good guy. guy. You can catch him on our stream all the time. He's there playing games, usually dominating. Uh, yeah. that's, how, that's usually how for today except, yeah, except when we have to horse. put things in order <laughs> yeah except, except when like, you have to put things in order and jeff that don't look alike good. don't forget I'm, I'm always bad at putting like price is right putting things in order forget yeah. about it no, forget, it. forget about it gone. forget about it oh don't <laughs> jail's gonna have tony come out unfortunately yeah. this game the points matter <laughs> this they uh, do it's not whose lines anyway. everything's made up and the points don't matter i love That's scott right. uh, this God, was my we... Ra- mount rushmore of friday january 7th fan duel podcast Ooh, wow nice. wow right, i can't Scott's believe we made incredible. it That's incredible That's incredible wow. wow that's a good reminder if you are watching this do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to fan duel on youtube follow them on twitch make sure you go follow them on the other platforms as well they got tons of content creators putting out amazing content sports every sport you can think of i'm sure they have a content creator creating content around that sport Say that Could I say fact. that any other other way? I don't think so. Totally Fandle saying sense. happy week 18. That's that still true. seems so weird saying week 18. It is very odd to have week 18, but enjoy the football this weekend. We will be back on Sunday doing our Sunday recap, Fandle Sunday recap, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And after that, all right, you guys ready to get out of here? Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm right. fantasy fun, too. There it is. All right. Bye. Have a good weekend. Love you guys.